You understand the role now of vitamin D and how common it is to be deficient in vitamin D, deficiency being defined as a value of less than 30 nanograms per milliliter. What's the evidence that this has anything to do with health? Let's take a closer look. This is the study. It's available in PDF format in the resources section of this lesson. It was published in BMJ, the British Medical Journal, in August 2014. It was a systematic review and meta-analysis, and it looked at a population of over 800,000 adults. The median follow-up period in the studies included was six years. The outcome was that a low vitamin D, defined as less than 30 nanograms per milliliter, resulted in increased risk of death. Let's take a closer look at this graph. On the x-axis is a person's vitamin D level. On the y-axis is the percent risk of death compared to someone whose level was 30 or greater. So for example, if a person's level starting at the beginning of the trial was between 21 and 29, then they were 7% more likely to die during that median six-year follow-up period than someone whose level was 30 or greater. Someone whose level was 10 to 20 was 20% more likely to die, and someone whose level was under 10 was 50% more likely to die during the follow-up period. 